The first thing you notice as you come down into the driveway of this cottage style full time home with a workshop is it's on the water. You can see it, you can hear it. There's a screened in porch, an open deck to overlook the outlet of the Medexticaig River, better known as Drews Lake. Drews Lake is 1,057 acres. It's the headwaters to the Medexticaig River. You are about as close as you can get to Drews Lake, but you have all the privacy because no one knows you're here. Let's look at the workshop first. The workshop is 28 by 20. It's on a foundation. This is the SS Minnow or Titanic, or, well, it's named something. They're rehabbing a 1962 boat. A lot of the woodwork in this home was handcrafted out in this workshop. This is actually tied into the septic if you want it to be. It has overhead storage. You could live here. The septic system is state of the art. You don't want to hurt that natural resource. But again, keep in mind, you could have an apartment for loved ones, for company, in that workshop. It's versatile. Let's take a peek inside this one owner, cottage style home. This was a stray that they rescued. It loves living here. There's an entry coat room. There's a double closet as you come through that screen door with the insulated door behind it. A breakfast nook. Hardwood floors that are made of maple some of it bird's eye maple. The island in the kitchen is movable. The appliances are stainless steel. You've got your appliance garages. You have your openings so you can talk to your guests. This is ideal for entertaining. Off the kitchen, the breakfast nook is the dining room. Here's the long view. Talk about built-ins. They happened out in that workshop. See the drawers underneath for linens, the bookcases, the cabinetry, even glass doors. There's a monitor heater that heats this part of the home. The basement in this vacation type home is insulated with another monitor heater. Don't have to tell you what this room is. There's another one downstairs. You can have one floor living through this French door as a bedroom. The mirrored closet door. This window seat will take in the river, the leaves as they change, as the seasons go by. The living room is through these double glass doors. More glass to take in that river. More knotty pine native woodwork. You can hear the river. You can see it from the screened in porch, the open deck. The other entry has closets, three of them, and a wood stove with cultured chimney. See how these cutouts help open up and help the heat flow? Let's go down to the lower unit, the bottom floor. Off your picture window that greets you as you get to the bottom of that spiral staircase is the open deck, the screened in porch. This is the owner's favorite place to come and read the paper, to snooze, to drink something hot or cold, to reflect. Nobody in sight. You're on vacation till tomorrow if you have to work, or if you're lucky enough to be retired, you stay that way here. Inside, the walls, the ceilings, all treated with the knotty pine. There's a built-in corner desk. There's a lighted closet. You can store a lot of your favorite things that you enjoy when you're not working. There's another bedroom on this level and a bathroom. It's a daylight basement. 
more storage space in these lift up window seats. Your circuit breakers, your fuel tank for the monitor heaters, your water heater, your external pump for the well, the holding tank is all in that utility room. Stackable washer and dryer too. Track lighting, tile floors. This is a good sized bathroom with a stackable washer and dryer. That's your home and land on the water on the Bedexta Keg River in New Limerick, Maine. I'm Maine Realtor Andy Moores. Thanks for listening and watching the Maine Real Estate Channel. If you'd like to know more about this unique property in one unique setting, reach out, connect, let's talk.